worse, right? Right? <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey and I thought it would be funny to try the 100 baby speed run. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and the goal is to have 100 babies all within one lifetime. There's some rules to this challenge. It's basically following the 100 baby challenge with some fun quirky adjustments by yours truly. The link for the original challenge will be below. Last time we hit five babies. This episode, my goal is to get to like eight or nine and hopefully have aged up some of my kids so that they're not all under the age of three. My other goal is to survive. Wish me luck. And if you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It is my goal for this year to hit 800,000 subscribers. Sorry to interrupt you past Kelsey, but it's current Kelsey here to announce that we officially hit my goal of 800,000 subscribers. I am honestly so floored that we achieved it so quickly throughout the year. And I'm honestly just so thankful for all of my new friends who are here watching this new challenge. Thank you so much for being here. Now our new goal is 900,000 subscribers on the road to the 1 million. So if you would like to join our family and help us out, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We are back at Parkside Place with Chelsea and Peach May in front of the house where our ex, Jay Huntington III, is waving through the window. We have huddles everywhere and children everywhere. Cecilia, who has been breaking my heart and shaking my confidence daily, is of course aging up. I believe it is today. It's Cecilia's birthday and tomorrow is the twins' birthday. So Chloe and Madeline are in here. We've got Bo and Belle and then of course Cecilia. We need to age up Cecilia, but first we need to get pregnant again with our newest romantic interest, who I believe is Gunther. So let's invite Gunther over and have his babies. Oh my gosh, Cecilia is sad and is aging up. Okay, well, oh, Cecilia has decided to age herself up while Belle is having, I think, some other kind of magical moment. Oh no, Cecilia! Oh my gosh, she's sensitive and inquisitive. Oh, and look at her beautiful curly hair and glasses. Cecilia, you're looking cute. Cecilia is sad. She is mostly just sad because she has low motives and her birthday was forgotten. Sorry, Cecilia. I was just about to get around to that. And Bo is upset because he's not slept in a long time, but he's gonna try to go night night. So not too worried about that. Cecilia's up. We do need to get Cecilia a proper bed. She'll probably be fine. Maybe I'll get some toys for Cecilia. We do have some money, which is great. We have a little bit of a buffer. I think I was saving up for the trash can. So let's buy ourselves the fancy trash can so we can start making money from their diapers, which will be, we are just shy of getting money from the trash can. Amazing. Okay. 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 I also need to reorganize this house to be like better suited for all of my children. I feel like as much as I like the cribs are not going to be quite as functional as maybe having just like a bed. So that's Cecilia's bed. And then she needs some toys and like a little potty. We'll put the toy chest in the living room just so Cecilia can play out here. That's what we got so far. So Cecilia, you can interact with the Blarfy while we try to seduce Gunther. Offer him a rose. Oh my Oh my gosh, all of my children are upset. Bo is, I think, trying to go to sleep though, so he's fine. He's feeling flirty. Oh my god, the amount of children screaming in the background is upsetting. <laughs> Cecilia's coming to watch mom work her magic. Oh, Cecilia, you're also tired. Why don't you go to sleep? Okay, we can do a first kiss. Perfect. Good job, Chelsea. Oh, is he jealous? Jay Huntington is straight up watching. Yes, he is devastated. He's like, my love. I thought you went on a date with someone else already, Jay. Okay, Cecilia's taking herself to bed. All my other kids are in bed except for Belle who is fine and just playing with toys. Oh, and Chelsea's having her first kiss. I missed it because I was looking at the kids. Oh yeah, we can woohoo already. Perfect. All right, let's try for baby with Gunther. Oh, Cecilia hates bedtime and resists going to bed. That's awesome. That's the best quirk I've ever heard of in my life. It says, will often ask their caregiver for various things to avoid sleeping. They won't choose to sleep on their own until they're very, very tired. Why is Cecilia getting all of the arguably most challenging quirks? Oh my gosh, Gunther! Just woo-woo me already! Put a baby in me, Gunther! Come on! Oh my god, all my children are crying! They need my attention, Gunther! Go play with your little brother, I guess. Sing a song and entertain Bo. I love that they can like have fun times together. Can she interact with baby? She can! Oh my gosh, toddlers can interact with babies and infants! 
It's so cute. Look at her. She's just watching him and chatting with him while mom is making babies. Bo is really sad. Oh, he wants to be held. Oh, but his sister is there with him and he's delighted. This is the cutest. Oh my God, they're so cute. Chelsea's taking care of the babies. And we'll be right with you, Bo, I promise. I'm sorry. Chelsea needs to go use the toilet and see if she's pregnant. We are eating for two. I also need to adjust my settings. We are adjusting officially the maximum of health Hold size. Let's say 20 right now. Hopefully I never reach 20 kids in the household. All right, so we are officially pregnant with our next set of babies. Now let's try to read our toddler to sleep to get some aspiration points. Oh my God, he just keeps kissing me. Please leave. I don't want you here anymore. He's like watching these children. Like this is chaos. Yeah, I know there's pee in a lot of different places. Just ignore that. We're reading our sweet little Cecilia to sleep while Chloe is uh, upset. And it looks like Bo got the babble milestone unlocked. Now, since this is a speed run, I've been thinking about what we could do to age up our infants quicker. And a friend of mine who's also doing the 100 baby challenge, Dr. Luan, mentioned that he might be using the rules for his own challenge that once you get an infant to three milestones per section, you can age them up. So we already have four social, three first. We just need gross and fine motor skills. I believe how we get these done is to have him sort of try to do certain things. So we're gonna try to improve those things to age up our infant. And Cecilia's asleep, we got her asleep, yes! baby. Woohoo! I mean, she might wake up quickly, but probably not. And then let's take care of Bo. Bo is hungry. Once we take care of our two crying babies, we'll take care of Bo. Knox is like, congratulations on the new additions to the family. Thank you. I agree that congratulations are in order. The babies are so much right now. We are trying to feed everybody and keep everybody asleep. They're synced up. They're terrifying. Chloe, Madeline, calm down. Baby Bo, it's just you and me. Why don't you play with some toys, try to get your motor skills up. And oh my gosh, we have so many little images. Like we've got a lot of birth certificates and we have a lot of little baby hands to put on the walls. Oh my God, this other baby is upset. Why are you upset? Oh, you need to go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep then, Bo. Chloe, what is going on? Oh my gosh, stop it, Chloe. I'm hungry too. I need to get some money so I can get a fancy trash can because we're not gonna make any more money. Go to sleep, Chloe, thank God. Okay, all of my children are asleep. Let's check on the skills for everyone. Belle, what do you have going on here? We have three and three. We just need some gross and fine motor skills, which means I feel like we got to put in some tummy time in order to age them up quicker. We might just not have any time to do so though. After that, why don't we do some more dumpster diving? We need to get this trash can on the way. I think our life will be so much easier with the trash can. Cecilia, you're hungry, but you're not starved. So why don't you chat with a bear while mom feeds our babies? Do we get anything good from dumpster diving? No, we are exhausted. We do need to cook some food, big old garden salads for the family. Oh my gosh, Bella's stinky. All right, we're gonna change Belle's diaper. Oh my gosh, this is a challenge. Sweet Cecilia, you need level three on at least three skills. Why don't you keep working on communication? Oh my gosh, someone's knocking. Dave Grossman, go away. Oh, Bo reached the grab milestone. Good job, Bo. I forgot you were really doing anything, to be honest. All right, we're gonna put our baby down and and Belle, why don't you play with some toys? And we need to feed our toddler. So let's cook some food. Do you need a bath? Yeah, he needs a bath. We will give you a bath after we do this. We probably won't have any energy. Oh, Belle, good job at the graph milestone. Now she's got two of her little motor skills done. Good job, Belle. Cecilia luckily did go back to sleep, so that's good. Salads are done, fantastic. Chelsea's eating one because she is hungry. Oh gosh, her child is disgusting. She's like, all right, let's give a bubble bath to Bo. Oh my gosh, do we need help? Please, Cecilia, age up quickly. I need your help. Oh my gosh. And Cecilia's up. But Cecilia, I've got your food for you. Cecilia, go eat your garden salad, queen. I got you. Chelsea's got terrible needs right now. Oh my gosh. You know what? Those two babies can wait. She needs her own needs to be fulfilled too. Ooh, Cecilia's a messy eater. Fantastic. She's a little extra messy around food time. They get both themselves in the high chair dirtier quicker when they eat and sometimes they get food on the floor. Wow, great job. Why don't you take a little nap? Now that he's been bathed, why don't we put him down? And
And then Bo, why don't you try to go night night? Oh my God, the house is filthy and everyone is upset, but it's fine. We are going to change these diapers and hopefully, hopefully get some sleep and hygiene and food in Chelsea soon before she dies. Oh, you know what? The puddles just dried up. That's great. Chelsea's going to sleep. Let's work on your skills. Her movement, thinking, and communication are high. We also need to work on potty. Imagination's also a great skill. We just need to be level three on three of them. Oh, Chelsea is absolutely miserable. Just woke up. Oh God, what's wrong, Chelsea? She's like, I gotta take a bath. Belle is mad because she just woke up. All right, why don't you play with some toys, Belle? All of my children are waking up and crying. Chelsea has not slept in like 48 hours. Okay, Bo is gonna be taken away if she doesn't feed him. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I am pregnant again. That's on me. Okay, Chelsea, go take care of Bo, please. Cecilia just needs hygiene and needs to go to sleep. Why don't you take a little nap while you wait on mom to give you a bath? Oh my God, Chelsea's definitely gonna pass out at some point soon. Oh my God, both of Madeline and Chloe are now upset. Good, good, good. Chelsea's gotta go deal with the babies. Can you play with toys? I need your motor skills to go back up. Is someone here? You know what? Come on in, Dolly. You got a gift for me? Is your gift helping my children? Because that would be great. Oh, nope, she just passed out. We didn't even get to invite our neighbor inside. And Cecilia is devastated. Please, Cecilia, just go back to sleep. I'm sorry. You're tired? Why don't you try to go to sleep? Okay, he is. Perfect. All my kids are asleep except for Chloe, who needs the diaper change. Okay, Gunther is calling and wants to go on a date. No, thank you, Gunther. Hey, neighbor, do you want to come in? I'm going to go to sleep, though, immediately. Oh my God, Chelsea. It's Madeline's and Chloe's birthdays. I can't tell if it's better or worse to age them up. Belle, can I age you up yet? No, we cannot. We haven't done any gross motor skills. Where is the neighbor? Is the neighbor even in the house? No. Well, I'm just gonna let everybody sleep until something happens. Cecilia is up and she is upset. She needs some attention and food. Why don't you go eat some salad? There you go. I don't know if I can balance this many kids. We're getting to my limit and we haven't even reached seven yet. We're only at five. Ugh. Oh, Belle unlocked her babbling. That's fantastic. Oh, when it comes to Chelsea and Cecilia, a sense of order seems to abound as the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often beating the older Sim's high expectations. This makes so much sense for the eldest. For family members of the strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning more and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling. <gasps> I love that. That's really cute. I've never had a family dynamic before in my Let's Plays yet. So that's really fun. Nox, no, I'm not even answering your call. I don't have time. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. My computer stopped recording the gameplay for a significant chunk of time. If you're wondering what happened, it was pretty much more of the same. No babies have been aged up and Chelsea has passed out numerous times. We started maybe getting into the flow of things before everything went terribly once more, but it is time for Chelsea to have her two babies and she looks about as miserable as I feel. So we are entering at the hospital. Chelsea's in labor. All of the children are stinky. They all need baths, but luckily they're all alive. So I'm taking that as a win. A win is a win. <laughs> I don't know why we would be having more babies into this terrible situation. However, it is Saturday night and tomorrow we can officially age up the twins, Belle and Bo. So I'm very excited about it. And it's another girl. I cannot believe we only have one boy right now. Let me see what baby names you guys have suggested. I think I might go with Rosalie. Rosalie sounds pretty cute. Some of you guys are getting so creative with your names and I love it. Well, and it's a boy. Okay, yes, we have twins. Of course we do. Rowan. Oh, a perfect one. Rowan and Rosalie. I guess I'll have all the twins have matching names. And thank goodness it is not triplets. Oh my gosh. We have four infants two babies and a toddler. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, let's go home, Chelsea, and get you pregnant. Let's see all the needs of our babies. Oh my gosh, they did get fixed while I was gone. They all got baths. This is incredible. Fortunately or unfortunately, didn't have to see that, but I was absolutely overwhelmed and overrun with babies. But I think we need to go out. The problem is all these kids are so little and I don't have any bigger kids to take care of them. I don't think I can take them with us, but that's okay. Oh, it would be nice to bring Cecilia though. She does deserve a little mommy-daughter day out. Let's bring Cecilia, get her some quality mom.
mommy daughter time because like I feel like she's constantly being ignored because she can mostly do some things herself as a toddler and that's just not fair. So Cecilia and mommy are having a day out while mommy looks for new people to seduce. And who is this but Harris and Miranda? Harris and Miranda, I think you are our lucky bachelor. Cecilia, why don't you go play with this beautiful dollhouse? Oh, uh, hello Harrison. Hopefully Harrison is not married. Give him a little heartfelt compliment and flatter him and ask him if he is single. And oh my gosh, she wants to become flirty. Easy, easy. He's married to Lana. Oh, okay. Let's go introduce ourselves to Wolfgang. He looks cute. Are you single, Wolfgang? Oh, I think he is a wolf. Now that I'm realizing it. Wolfgang is single. Perfect. Oh my gosh. What if we accidentally have a werewolf baby? This is not the occult baby challenge. Let's compliment his outfit. Tell him a funny story. Let's focus entirely on Wolfgang. Cecilia has finally gotten inside. She's doing fantastic, sweetie. Yes, queen. Okay, we're already level three on imagination, which is perfect. Why don't we maybe work on communication? Okay, work on that, Chelsea. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, Wolfgang. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Let's flirt, you know, have a little time. Don't leave. We want to discuss interests with you. Those interests being having woohoo. Are you interested? in that. He seems to be, oh, really enjoying her flirtations. He's feeling very flirty with her, so that is perfect. Okay, let's compliment his appearance. Let's, like, embrace him. How are you doing, Cecilia? She's having a bit of a cry. Oh, my goodness, and she's a little hungry. Chelsea's having some really good moments with Wolfgang. Wolfgang, why don't you help Chelsea cook some food for Cecilia? Oh, Cecilia, are you chatting with Wolfgang? Talk with the stranger. I feel like she would really, like, fruit salad. So we're gonna do a little fruit salad. And then we need to potty train Cecilia and continue Wolfgang's seduction. Oh my gosh, I forgot it's Belle and Beau's birthday today. Well, we do need to make them maybe a birthday cake. Oh, Wolfgang, where are you? Oh, he's not here. Okay, it's 2 a.m. We're definitely not getting Wolfgang over. Honestly though, it does feel a little bit like cheating potty training Cecilia here when Wolfgang is not here. So I'm going to have Chelsea and Cecilia go home. We've met Wolfgang. We'll just have him back to the house and our kids, I think, are gonna age up today. We'll try to have a birthday party. I don't think it's gonna happen based off of just Chelsea not being able to function most of the time. We're gonna try. All right, Chelsea, I think you need to go straight to sleep. Cecilia, you also can go to sleep and all the rest of the kids can go to sleep. Belle, oh my gosh, they're all their needs are like pretty good. I wish that I could put the infants like in nurseries. I hate that they're all just constantly on the floor. I'm not doing motherhood right. <laughs> Chelsea actually got like almost a full night's sleep, which is unheard of in this house. Let's cook some breakfast for Chelsea as well. All the kids are up and they are all kind of hungry. Cecilia reached thinking level two. Okay, fantastic. You just need level two of communication. Why don't you babble a bit? All right, Cecilia's level three of communication. We just need her to learn how to potty, which we haven't been able to do. Poor Cecilia. All of the kids are awake and angry. Oh no, what happened, Cecilia? Oh my gosh, I think she might have have a, a negative sentiment. Being ignored. <gasps> I was worried about this. I'm sorry, Cecilia. Let's try to give Cecilia some attention really quick. Cecilia's breaking my heart, I tell you. Girl, let's give Cecilia a bubble bath. Cecilia, we're coming for you, okay? I promise. Gavin Richards, we don't even know you. Hold on. Anyway, let's give a bubble bath to Cecilia. We did do a flirty introduction and Gavin seemed less than entertained. Oh my God, every child is crying. I'm fine. This is fine. We're fine. The speed run is not it. Okay. Cecilia is so mad. Why don't we read Cecilia to sleep? The babies can wait. Oh my God. Gavin is taking out our trash. You know what? You can stay Gavin. I'm sorry, kids. I need to potty train Cecilia. Oh my God. Cecilia just passed out. Okay. That's fine. Cecilia passed out, which means we have time to take care of our other children. So let's like change the dirty diaper. Oh my God. Everyone is in red right now. Everyone is mad at me or in blue. All the babies somehow quieted, which is interesting. It feels like a calm before the storm kind of moment. We're just gonna age you up. Belle and Bo, it's time. You're gonna become toddlers. Here we go. I think I should be going. Yep, maybe you should. Maybe you should. We're aging up Belle. She is independent. Yes. We love an independent toddler. Thank you, Belle. Oh my God, what is happening with Belle? I don't think she's okay. I don't know what's going on. We'll have to fix that. Fantastic. Bo is angelic. Oh, we already knew that about you, Bo. Look at him with his full head of hair. We love 
to see it. Oh my God. Madeline is asleep. Chloe is fine. I think she just needs to go to sleep. Oh, she's having a blowout. Fantastic. Glad I caught her mid blowout. Incredible. We're gonna put Chelsea baby to sleep. And meanwhile, I am going to go into Kaz and adjust our sweet baby angel Belle because she's looking a little odd. Okay, Belle, what you doing here? It looks like you have a CC hair that's no longer working. Ooh, why don't we try the new hair? Oh, she's blonde, isn't she? Can we adjust your brows a bit? Perfect. And then what's going on? She have makeup on? We don't need makeup on Belle, okay? That's, we don't need that. Okay, so here's Belle. Perfect, perfect sweet baby angel. And here is her brother, Bo. Oh, another perfect sweet baby angel. I love to see you both. Look, it's so cute. But we are not pregnant, so we need to fix that. We need to adjust these toddler beds. There you go. See, now we have three beds. We have a bed for toddler, and then we have these little <laughs> play beds. Maybe I should give them a, like actual bed, but I think these play pens function very well. All right, how are the kids? Okay, Cecilia, you gotta go to sleep. Belle is hungry. Do you like disgusting salads? Do I have a snack for you? Bo is also sleepy. Madeline is hungry. Chloe needs to go to sleep. Fantastic, okay. Mostly everybody is good to go. Oh, Chelsea's squeamish. Amazing, she doesn't like gross things. That's a no. We are not making you squeamish. You're gonna deal with too many kids. You gotta figure it out, okay? Madeline is pretty sad. Her head's underneath a chair. And we're gonna have to feed her, okay? Let's go feed Madeline. Chelsea's taking care of baby here. Belle's hungry again. We're gonna grab out the most disgusting salad we've ever seen, Belle. Don't think about it. Mom will improve her salad making abilities someday. And Chelsea passed out. Did we at least feed the toddler? We did at least feed her. So she's pretty much chilling. Oh my God, Knox is calling. What do you want? I have a crush on Ava. Yep, go for it, Knox. I am not worried about that whatsoever. I actually really need to take care of these babies and then to get pregnant again. All right, Chelsea, go find out what's wrong with this baby so it will be quiet. Luckily, we use so many bottles and diapers that we have a lot of money now. <laughs> not enough to like really do a lot with the house, but enough to afford bills and stuff, which is great. Belle acquired the potty skill. Good job, Belle. You might age up quicker than your sister. All my toddlers are stinky, but I am exhausted. Oh, we have a vampire here. We don't need a vampire, okay? Chloe grabbed Milestone. Good job, Chloe. Oh yeah, she's got two down of her fine motor. She just needs three to finish that out. Okay, everyone's asleep. Thank goodness. Chelsea reached parenting level eight. Amazing. We were so close to super efficient baby care. So close. Oh my God, and the infant woke up all of the toddlers. No! You know what? I'm just gonna invite over a sim, okay? We're gonna focus on Chelsea's needs for like one second. So she's just gonna get a meal. Chelsea, let the kids cry, okay? Let them cry. Just for a minute, you need food, okay? And we're gonna call over to hang out. Oh, it's 2 a.m. We can't invite him over. <gasps> but we do maybe have enough for a science baby. Let's see if I can do a science baby. I've been wanting to do one anyway. Have a science baby. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Go, Chelsea, go. Enjoy having your science baby. Are you ready to add a newborn to your household? Yes, I am. Go get pregnant from a science baby. We've used up all our money. We're gonna send to daycare. Oh, she's having one? I'm sorry. I thought we would be pregnant. No, 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 What have I done? It's a girl. What other names have you guys suggested? Oh, for the last of us, I'm going to name this baby Ellie. Ellie and Peach Schmay. We had twins. Oh, this one says my beautiful daughter is named Elise. If you would like to name a baby girl after her, I will Kaylee. So we have Ellie and Elise. Oh, Elsie, Elsie. That's really cute. I pronounced that wrong. We have Ellie and Elsie. So now we have four babies. I'm sorry. We have three toddlers, two infants, and four babies. <laughs> no. I'm not crying. This is so funny. <laughs> I'm crying. I thought she'd be pregnant. I didn't know we just had them. Oh my gosh. Well, that brings our grand total of the 100 big challenge up to nine. <laughs> None of them are over the age of five. <laughs> oh, it's so scary. So I'm going to leave this torture for future Kelsey. This is future Kelsey's problem now. Please leave your baby names in the comments below. And please send your thoughts and prayers. If we get next episode without having a single child taken away, we'll know we've made it. I think I'm going to focus on really aging the toddlers up so they can start taking care of some of these kids. I hope kids can help take care of infants. I haven't gotten to see if that's the case. Until the next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. <laughs> oh my god.
god, what have I done? <laughs> Even Chewie's concerned. Whew, that was a good laugh. I needed that. 